All right, last video for Wonderfest 2019 and just basically some supplies and tools I got. So tool-wise, I went ahead and got myself another Iwata uh, HPTH from uh, Tag Team Hobbies. So if you need uh, something Iwata, well, I'm not sure, do they carry Badger? I'm not sure they do. But uh, if you need anything uh, Iwata-wise or Grex-wise, give them a shout. Super great guys, um, great customer service. So um, I got one of these last year and I absolutely love it. So I decided to get a second one. Um, and I actually can't find my big cup on the other one. I put it somewhere and it's in my paint room somewhere so I gotta find it. Uh, again, I can't say en enough about this airbrush. It's a beautiful uh, trigger spray airbrush. Um, it comes with a fan tip which is on there right now. And also comes with a round tip which I've yet to use. Um, so if you wanna spray a round pattern, Put this guy on there if you want a fan tip. You use this guy that's on there. So there's the fan tips in there right now. And then there's a round tip. And it comes with a large cup right there. Um, oh no, it's a large cup on my Grex I can't find. It only comes with one cup. Tool as usual. So yeah, cannot recommend this airbrush enough. Iwata HPTH get one. Uh, Jason Fiedler got one uh, based on my recommendation. So it's a great, great tool. It's great for, um, you know, clear coating and base coating. I got a needle sharpener. Um, you know, this is a lot cheaper than buying new needles. So basically if you bend a needle on your airbrush, you can use this to, to straighten it out and sharpen it. So I've got to learn how to use it. Uh, you have to go to their website to learn how to use it, but basically if you have a bent needle, you stick it in there. I think you rotate it a few times and it strains out your needle. So uh, I think this tool was it was like $45, which seems expensive, but that's as much as uh, one needle will cost with some, like I wanted needles are ex crazy expensive. Badger needles, one thing I, like about, I love about Badger is that his stuff, his replacement parts aren't crazy expensive. He doesn't rate you on replacement parts. Um, Iwata does. <laughs> they, they really charge you a lot for replacement needles. So we got a, it's called a Sharpen Air. World's first needle repair tool. So there you go. Got one of those. Been looking at one of those for a long time. Um, from Jesse, I just picked up a few uh, more paints, more bone paints. I ran out of those, so I just picked up those. I picked up a bottle of buck stamp, buck skin tan, which I don't have, so. I really need, I didn't make a list of paints. I should have made a list of paints and got them, but there's a few paints from Jesse. Um, this is the handle that goes to the Iwata. It's a separate item from uh, Ken Badger. I picked up some more Steinle Res, uh, black, gray, and silver. And I also got another paint mixer because I have two of these, but they're really um, beat up. And I've actually melted the button on both of them. I get, uh, I get lacquer primer on it and it melts the plastic, so. I love this tool. For the longest time, I never said, God, it seems a little expensive for what it is. But again, I cannot recommend these guys enough. Get one of these um, paint mixers. It will make your life much easier when you're mixing your paint. Love it. Um, highly recommend it. So, let's get in touch with Ken Badger for one of those guys. Or two. I have two. This will make number three. The other two are pretty beat up. They're like almost beyond use. And then, um, I got this stuff from the guys that I got the um, vinyl kits from. So I, I've used Aves epoxy sculpt before, but this is a, uh, Aves epoxy paste. So this is a two-part epoxy glue, um, but unlike 30-minute epoxy or 15-minute epoxy, you have quite a while to work with this. Like I think several hours, um, work time one to three hours. So it, it's very similar to the epoxy. Um, a pot, the, the sculpting sculpting putty, but this is more of like a, uh, an epoxy glue, and you have plenty of time to work and work on seams. And then they threw in a bottle of solve set for me, or safety solve, which is used to um, smooth out uh, epoxy stuff. You can use water, but after watching a video by Vince Villa, I was like, I only use this stuff now. It does work much better than water. So that's a quick video on that stuff, and that's it for Wonderfest. What I got videos. Um, so as always, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. I will do my best to get more content up um, on stuff I'm working on. So, um, but as always, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And if you have any questions or anything, anything I got or 
who to get it from, send me a message or make a comment on the video and I will reply to you as soon as I can. But other than that, as always, thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys next time. Matt Rosick out. Bye.